happen. Welcome to my stream, my channel, my me. Welcome to me playing video games. Um, I'm going to be playing a game tonight called Full Throttle. It is a LucasArts adventure game that came out in 1995. So it's about a motorcyclist, and I guess that's all I need to say for now. You'll see for yourself. Let's get started. Okay, I think I just want to make sure that you can see everything. I think we're good. She said she'd fix my bike. Lee, no strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah, yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt, Asphalt. and trouble. Rip, Burger, you're the yummer than dirt. Oh, Mr. Mr. Cole, Cole, if you only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your I know plan, your plan Rick Rick Burger. Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, <laughs> That's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I I've know never I liked you, like Rip. Rip. But you have but business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours... Riding up to our and the space stand says, Scum VM, bikers? the top of your bar, you think top bar of your window is on the, the screen shows. a bit. Also, there is some reverb. It's good yeah, I'm hoping that I fix the reverb, but I me just messed around with it a little bit, customers. the balance. What do you Tell know me if it's still there. Customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Oh, hey, thanks, we Mr. Mard, for hosting. Right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Have some early CG here. This is high tech stuff back in the day. Let's find out who they are. Dan says there's still reverb. Reverb. Well, Wizard said, this part really makes the main character, man, seem like a girl, which I mean, kind of is. And a space dance is bad. That's good. Good, because, um, if there's still reverb, I can lower, like, I can lower the volume that I'm hearing without lowering, lowering the volume that comes out of those, um, without, without lowering the volume as it gets captured, and that way there would, would be less reverb. Actually, I'll do that a little bit more, just to make sure. Because I don't need it that loud. Okay. Hopefully we're good now. Hey Ben, 
Hmm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Kickstand. Clever name for a biker bar. Yeah, hey, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> I know I don't look very tough All with right. my polka dotted Who's the glass. Guy that here? Drove over my car? Probably not thematically appropriate. What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm. What wizard says one of my roommates said that Ben kind of looks like a buff version of Tim Schafer. Yeah, I think More he kind of like does. He's boring them to death um, with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm Tim Schafer did say that he made this game in wasn't. response to the fact that um, so when you ride with these adventure games, games in this era weren't appealing enough to a broad, Although I'm or sure LucasArts adventure games weren't appealing enough to like a broad no public. Time. They wanted to play to more powerful limo, characters, whereas I in Day of the Testicle, you basically play giant nerds sales pitch? who can't really do yes. anything that, we have come here today you know, to the average player could do in real life. Employment. So Mr. that's where this Corley came in, where you get to be a badass who rides a motorcycle and punches dudes. Does this look like an escort service to you? So you Tim Schafer well was like, who do I want to play in a game? A muscular version of me. Not interested. It's fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. They're too legit Rip for that. Burger. That does it. I'm gonna. Hold on there, Malcolm. If you I think it was mind, MC like Hammer who said with Mr. that Rip the polecats were too chat. legit to quit. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Berger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. You tell him. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man Ooh, says sick it's burn the on the rot wheelers. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word. That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. My final offer is a board on the back of your head. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. What was it says? Someone on the video game Hot Dog, I don't know what that is, podcast, said there are two different types of Tim Schafer games. There are Whimsy Schafer games, Broken Age, Old Adventure games, etc. And Grimsy Schafer games, this, that game with Jack Black. Uh, what category would Grim Fandango fall into? Because I feel like that's, like, it definitely has its whimsy, but it's, it, it kind of has a little bit of, a little touch of the badass, I feel like. On um, the Jack Blackie and badass, I guess. Alright, so I'm stuck in this dumpster. What Wizard says, Grim Fandango is more whimsy, I think. And a space stand says, but you also literally play a Grim Reaper. Yeah. That is true. Okay, so to start with, um, one thing that you will notice here 
is that the first puzzle of the game is basically just using brute force to open this um, dumpster. So in a lot of the other games that I've played, it's usually been the case that you play a character who's relatively weak and you need to kind of use your wits or your cleverness to get through obstacles. But in this game, they're letting you know right off the bat, it's all about the muscles, man. All right, so this is our interface. It's a little strange. Um, you click on things, you hold down, it gives you some op options. You can pick it up or use it. You can um, look at it, talk to it, or use your tongue on it, or you can kick it. I can't see any use for those. They're empty. No. <laughs> I've touched it enough. All right. Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. <laughs> Panda Space Stan says that Panda Space Stan says that, um, look at it, use your mouth on it, punch it, or use it, and kick it are basically the only actions that he uses in life. Open up. Open up. It's screwed shut. I prefer so doors anyway. We get another taste of using brute force. Um, common adventure game puzzles to use keys to open I, uh, doors. Fixed your door. But our hero here just uses his it foot. Was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. All right. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Sorry to say. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang took off with those... those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Uh... I want to know who knocked me out. I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? Uh, what am I going to do about it? What wizard says? The boot icon. Seems like it's sometimes moved to a place and sometimes it's kick a thing. So inconsistent. It's mostly, it's mostly to like kick a thing because to move around you just click where you want to go. Alright, so this guy's not giving me what I want. So in a tough guy brute force fashion, I'm just going to punch him. You know what might look better on your nose? What? My fist. The bar. Oh. <gasps> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know, I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh... Someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. <laughs> Thanks. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole cats? I'd better get moving. Can't. Gotta ride. Ah, booze. Ah. I'm not putting my lips on that. Let's play the piano. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. <laughs> Mistaken in art class. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, yeah, monitor. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Okay, well obviously I'm just killing time here. Let's get on the road. What's a motorcycle game if you're... Game, not gang. What's a motorcycle game? It, bleh, what's a motorcycle game if you're not riding around on a motorcycle? What wizard says, at least Ben knows not to drink and drive. That's right. There we go. I'm sure that that bike is up to mission standards. When I'm on the road, I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. Hey! Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah. And you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. I like that guy's wheel. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. The rock wheelers? It's a lame Look, name. I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Not that the pole cats is such a badass. Someone's either. ambushing the pole cats? Oh, heavens. Whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Oh good. Let's get down. You get to beat a guy up. No. <laughs> Shit, man. That's the spirit. <laughs> So I currently don't have my mouse, and I might need it to get through this part, but I wasn't able to find it. I think I'm just going to power through, because this, this first encounter is generally not that hard. But this game does have some really annoying and tricky fight sections. There we go. Oh yeah. Just punch the guy off his bike. Pretty dangerous, they said. I don't care, I said. I am the guy with the broken motorcycle. Well, a good thing he can pop a wheelie for a really long time, otherwise he's screwed. Oh shit. Alright, I guess he's still screwed. Dental plan. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. And the space stand says he's lucky to have survived, considering he wasn't even wearing a helmet. You? I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. Maureen. My name's ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? 
brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Nice. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Uh, dear, who are you? Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Uh, what wizard says? One thing I actually like about Full Throttle is that in the background of all of this Western stuff, there's a bunch of kind of neat cyberpunk stuff. Yeah, I do like the kind of like Western cyberpunk marriage. Looks a lot like stuff might that might be on an episode of Cowboy Bebop or something. True. I also like how Ben's bike has a ton of weird asymmetri asymmetric exhaust pipes. Yeah, he does have a pretty sweet bike. I think you just slide into him and click a bunch. It'll beat him. It's not an especially deep combat system. It's not quite Dark Souls. Yeah, um, I, I just have an embarrassingly difficult time with the combat in this game, partially because the controls I find to be a little bit awkward. Um, I anything any movement that is controlled by the mouse, um, if it's not just like looking around like in a first person game, but like any motion uh, that you determine with the mouse is always super awkward for me for some reason. So I have a little bit of trouble with it, especially when I don't have a mouse and I'm just using my trackpad. But um, there is a really annoying part in this game where you have to beat up a bunch of people on motorcycles and it's a lot more tricky than that one. So I will probably have to find my mouse for that section. Um, Panda Space Dan says he's lucky to have survived seeing as he wasn't even wearing a helmet. Yeah, yeah, Ben. Ben's not the most safety conscious of guys, I guess. What Wizard says, oh man, I like this woman's voice. Yeah, I think, I think the initial person is different than the person I'm talking to now. What Wizard says, you'll probably want the mouse for the second fight. Yep, I would agree. Okay, Maureen, uh, do you have a last name? Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Doll. Okay. Uh, this is an this an authorized Corley Service Center. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. <laughs> Where'd you learn bikes? Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So Jerk. I switched to toasters. Toasters? You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. <laughs> you seem more concerned with me than your bike. Uh, how's it look? How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. Oh no, a fetch quest. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Panda Space Stand says, bad dads. Yep, they're a problem. In Steven Spielberg movies, and apparently also in LucasArts Adventure games. Uh, how's it look? How's it look? Well, basically what you got here is a unicycle. We need new forks, a welding torch, and some gas. Where am I supposed to find all that junk? Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. <laughs> I'm known for my brawl, not my brains. I said brawn, not bra. He's not known for his bra. To my knowledge. Where's the gas? Where's the gas? 
Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. What Wizard says, this game is the prequel to the movie Wild Hog, starring Tim Allen. Uh, yeah. Probably. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. <laughs> I still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who All right. here would do a thing like that? I don't know. Everyone? Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. Okay, you can start fair. by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. All right. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Cool. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Photograph. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. Mink Ranch? And when he died, he left it to me. Nice. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. <laughs> but I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. I haven't sold the land. I guess land isn't exactly that um, scarce around here. Gas can. You can take that, right? Uh, how do I get to my inventory? Oh, there it is. You just right click. Okay. Cool, I guess. Can't look at the stuff in your inventory. It's my bread and butter. Um. Okay. We are on our way to that. Oh, good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. Quote? Have you heard you saved I heard my you life? you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. Oh, I was, I was just worried. looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Glad to be of service. You'd want a picture of me bleeding. It's not the blood, it's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Uh, I gotta stop an ambush, kid. Listen, an ambush, I gotta an stop ambush. an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Uh, somewhere between here and Corville. Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Could you give me a ride in your car? Um, I, I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Okay, well, um... So what are we doing here? We're looking for stuff. What was it says, I think you can actually look at things in your inventory. Really? How do I do that? Right click? Wish this gas can was full. Guess so. All right, what's in what's in the mailbox? It's empty. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. <laughs> Come on, don't you just like breaking shit? What? You totally had a car, you little liar. Oh well. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. F you, kid. Alright. 
Oh, good. It's a Monkey Island map. Uh, so where are we going here? Go up here, here, which is where we came from. Uh, here or here. Let's go here. It's a chimney. Smells like burning metal down there. Oh, well, that someone's definitely welding. He probably has Moe's welder, right? Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. <laughs> Electrician joke. Steel bars in the glass. What was it? Says this is a nice song. Yeah, it is. It's too. It's a little too ambient to hear right now, but hmm. no. I'll make a note of it later. Can't really kick down the chimney. I'm just wondering if you can pull a Grim Fandango, and there's this part in Grim Fandango where you can kind of mess up the pipes by walking on them, and I'm wondering if it's that kind of thing. Doesn't look like it. I'm not putting my lips on that. I want to scream into it. Yell into it. Alright, what do I need? Okay, you can hear the song a bit more clearly here. empty, but there's something hanging on the door. Oh, it's a lockpick. Nice. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Wouldn't look good on my bike. Alright. Refrigerator. There's a nasty looking T bone in here. Oh, I want the T bone. Meat. Got it. It's locked up with steel brackets. Can I pick the lock? A lock pick won't help there. Guess not. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sandbox. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Okay. Yeah, gas can. Lock pick. T bone. Can I take the sandbag? They just fall apart. Yeah. 
can't take the sandbag. It just fall apart. Nor can I kick it. I mean, I can kick it, but it doesn't do anything. I'm not putting my lips on that. Probably all that's holding this dump up. Steel bars in the glass. Okay. Um... I feel like there's something that can be done with this thing. But I can't remember what it is. I did. I have played this game before. Just don't have the best memory of how to solve all the puzzles. But let's move on and come back here later. Uh, what is in here? Junkyard. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. <laughs> Open up, Todd. All right, that's not working out too well. Not fast enough, huh? should be easy. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. How do I lock it? No. What if I want to lock the latch? I guess I need an extra thing to do that, probably. Okay. I don't know if there's much I can do here either right now. But it's in here. Cool. Ooh, here's a lot. Maybe I can pick it. Take the lock with me. Yes. Okay. The top of this fence is electrified. All right. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could... Okay. So we need to deal with that somehow. Let's go to the junkyard. I have a lock now. Might be able to lock that door down. Now that it's locked, I can climb up this chain, right? Booyah. Ah, 
junk. Ah, uh, junk is right. All right, let's see what's down here. Shall we? Oh, wrong way. I do have a steak. That's not one of meat's many uses. Um So Cars, no thank you. Not a fan. Yeah, maybe I can do something with the state. Okay. I have an idea. Let's try it. Let's see how it works. Um Uh not what I meant to do. It's this here, right? Ben is a very leisurely kind of walk. Try putting the state in one of the cars. Down. Maybe I can get the dog in the car, trap Bad the dog, dog by piling cars on top of it.
how many cars I need on the dock. But for good measure, let's just put all the cars on the dock. We're good here. Hopefully the dog is trapped. Let's try to go through that pile of parts again. says oh man I look back and there's just this huge pile of cars nice so what I did was I put a stake in the car and I piled cars on top of it hoping that it would trap oh okay I did the wrong thing there's an easier way to do this it would have not taken as long and it would have worked I think so what I need to do is I need to, um, I, I just need to pick the car up that the dog is in. But first I'm gonna have to take, I'm gonna have to remove my car pile, which might take a little while. I apologize, I'm bad at puzzles. pick up this car. Alright. Uh, do it, right? 
That dog is not going anywhere. Look at him struggling up there. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> nice forks. Where do you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. <laughs> now, if you could just find me a welding torch and scare up some gas, we'd be set. All right, welding torch gas. Check. Or I should say, fork check. Welding torch gas still needs to be completed. Okay, um, so I need to figure out how I am going to get, um, I need to figure out how I'm going to get um, the torch back from the dude. I think it has something to do with um, getting the gas to stop, um, which I think goes through those pipes into his basement. I tried walking on the pipes. That didn't work out so well. Um, we can try, try something else. I think that's where he is, right in there. Okay. Um... So let's try walking on this again. All right, no dice. Oh, he's coming up. Who's out there? <laughs> All right, that was easy enough. This view defines true beauty. Ah, poor Todd. I think he's had enough. Probably. Okay, Todd. <clears throat> All right, I have a torch. That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. Just gotta gas her up and go. All right. Um, I want to look around that basement to make sure there's not anything else in there. Metal I figures. hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. <laughs> I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. That would make a good mailbox post. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. Not a bad version, really. Metal bird. In dog. Collage. I nominate that as least offensive of show. <laughs> All right. Um. All 
Alright. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else down here. So I still, there's still the matter of the, um, the whatchamacallit, the gas. Which is a little bit of a problem. So how do we get the gas out? else interact with is there and this is just going back to where I was okay what do I have in my inventory gas can lock pick gas can will help me once I get to the gas but I can't even get to it so if I touch the ladder guys come uh, is there anything over here? No, it's just out. Okay, uh, well... Maybe there's something I'm missing. Let's go back to Marines. Don't know how thoroughly I looked around. Make sure I got everything. Always a good... Always a good tact. If you don't know what to do in an adventure game, you might be missing something. here. Can I take it? Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to help me get the gas. It doesn't seem long enough, but give it a shot. Maybe I just wasn't fast enough.
could try hiding. There are some shadows back here. I don't think hiding might be a good idea, I just need to figure out if there is a place to hide. Where can I even stand in this place? Oh, I can hide back here, right? What wizard says, this puzzle is a bit of a LucasArts red herring trademark. Do I need to find a red fish somehow? from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Both of you, eh? <laughs> Can I siphon gas from their tank while they're up there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a hose. And got a can. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, except. Gas needs to come out. Can I like bend the pipe down? Guess I can always suck on it, right? Oh, hey, that worked. Gross. Okay, cool. I have gas. Who's that down there in the yard? <laughs> it's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around the other side, and we'll have him cornered. You're spilling all Where your you gas, go? Ben. Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Looks like I got some gas. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. <laughs> so what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh, wish I had a camera. 
I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Nice. We're gonna burn down the prairie, Ben. Prevent wildfires. All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Keep looking. Okay, well, I think that is enough for me tonight. Um, but that was the first bit of Full Throttle. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's a cool, it's a cool game. But I will be playing more of this tomorrow night. Join me at 9 o'clock for Splunky and then this.